Hello. Uh, welcome along. Um, this is episode 74 of Adventures in Pop. My name is Simon Jacobs um, and you are extremely welcome. Uh, it's been a very hot day, another boiling hot day in London. Um, you know we're really good at moaning. I mean if you're not from this country then l let me just say very quickly, you know, we're very good at telling you that it's too hot, too cold, too wet, too dry, too windy, too too stormy, too rainy, the wrong kind of rain, etc., etc. So it's never good. Um, I quite like it, but it is <clears throat> sultry hot, and um, it's a bit over the top, frankly. Um, on this program today, we're going to talk about my brand new single, which is called "I Don't Love You Anymore," and we're going to just mention a couple of things which I teased a bit last time um, under the heading of well. Adventures. Uh, let's talk about the new single first. Um, this is quite interesting because some of you will remember, and you can always go back and have a look, but way back, uh, probably about this time last year, I think I was recording episode uh, 22, you can look that up, of um, Adventures in Pop. And what basically episode 22 was about was was um, giving a bit of a running commentary about a song that I was kind of writing at that moment in real time. So I had the kind of um, the wherewithal, having just kind of got started, to think, oh, this might be quite interesting to put, you know, put the camera on and follow me through this, even though, obviously at that moment, I didn't know whether, you know, it was a total turkey or or something that was actually going to fly. Um, so, you know, I can't, I'm kind of lucky, really, because it turned out to be a song that I do quite like. It's now on the album, whatever the album's going to be. I think we're tentatively calling it Five. Um, and here comes single number three, I Don't Love You Anymore. And as I say, if you go back to episode 22, you can kind of watch me... Um, putting it together over over a number of days. It was, a, as usual, probably a three or four day process. Um, and, you know, the, the camera comes in at, at various moments to capture what's going on at that at that particular time. So listen, go and have a look at that. It's always really fun. Um, from where we are now, though, we've got a song called I Don't Love You Anymore. I've put a video together and actually I've really had some fun with the video. Um, come on to that in just a moment but that is coming in a few minutes so hang in there um and what else can I tell you about the song itself well some of the words have been written some time ago so there's I think it's the last verse in particular there's a whole verse about all the things that we didn't do uh, and I guess I have always found that idea quite amusing which is to kind of list all the things that we didn't do together because we didn't I didn't love you anymore which of course we think about it all the things you didn't do. I mean, that could go on for hours and years, couldn't it, really? Listing everything that we didn't do. So it's kind of a bit daft, but I quite like that in the um, in the song. The other thing about this song, and I think I've talked about this before, maybe not enough, though, but opening lines that, um, are, in terms of lyrics, you know, just get you right into the song... Um, this is this song. I guess if if I had to characterise it, I would say that it is kind of, it's quite taut, it's quite lean, and there are not really any spare bits. There are no saggy bits. Now look, it's, I quite like saggy bits from time to time. Uh, you know, sometimes you want a saggy bit. It's part of your it's part of your thing. Sometimes, on the other hand, saggy bits are just there because you you forgot to notice it. I don't think this has got any. This is this is a a lean rather taut song and there's not much wastage here it just you know it goes in does what it says and goes out again and the opening line therefore um sets up basically the whole thing and the opening line is i don't love you anymore um, and i just think that's quite uh, it's intriguing if somebody if i heard a song which started with that line i'd think oh right where's that going that doesn't sound good does it but i think it's quite a fun opening line and this really is not a terribly serious song it's it's a fun kind of um put down in a in a kind of gentle way without being too you know bombastically self-pitying so there's not much self-pity in the song at all um it's just you know i i thought i did and now i don't sorry so um that's that's quite interesting and i and i just think 
an opening first line is incredibly important because um, uh, when, when I say an opening first line, all first lines are probably opening first lines. I, when, I mean, a, a compelling first line, I think, is really important because, um, you know, it just draws somebody in from the very beginning and is it just gives you a slightly greater chance that somebody's going to stick with you, stick with that song for a little bit longer because they're just intrigued by the way you've started. Um, and particularly if it's a little bit surprising, I think that's a good thing. Um, I think really the best thing here is then to let you let you hear the thing. Um, so I'm not going to mess around um, trying to tell you more about the song itself. You have a chance to hear it. I do want to say something about the video. Um, the video is... <clears throat> a little bit different simply because um, although all I had was me and my camera um, I had no camera person, I had no one on hand to help and I suddenly thought look I better make this video right now um, <clears throat> I was a bit more resourceful about um, how to kind of put the clips together or at least how to make some different clips really so what I did is simply run the song over and over and and I just had me doing it from different places and I could cut it up and I'd be in one place and I'd be in another place it'd be different lighting maybe slightly different toning on the thing just so that it's not boring I mean just so that you know it, it's a bit fun and I also there's a motif in the video which obviously is inspired from the words of the song of lightning um, so you know you'll see that um, and it wasn't very difficult to find some lightning and then to kind of intersperse it, you know, strategically through the song. Um, so the video is better just simply from the fact that I probably spent a bit longer with it videoing different scenarios that I could then cut up and choose what works best. Simple as that. Nothing particularly dramatic, but, you know, just in terms of ringing the changes a little bit and keeping it um, fresh. That's what I was doing. I don't know what I'll do next time. I'm just going to run out of ideas, but, you know, it's the constant challenge of the video is always exciting. Okay, last thing then, before I just hand you over to the video of I Don't Love You Anymore. Um, I teased a little bit last time about, you know, having an adventure. Well, look, and I did say the more you do, the more you put yourself about, I suppose the greater the chance is that something unpredictable, something more will happen that, you know, you didn't bank on, you didn't expect it coming, because you give yourself that greater chance to, you know, to be seen, I suppose. Um, in this case, and I can't say too much about it yet, but I will as soon as I can, um, one of the partnerships I'm in, with, which is Rothman and Jacobs, um, Johnny Rothman has known a guy um, in Switzerland for many, many, many years, and his son is making progress on, I, I'm sure, I hope I can say this, um, making some progress on a German talent program. Let's put it, just put it, leave it there. And they need songs. So I am going to Switzerland on Monday, this coming Monday, to help this guy um, sing a number of our songs, Rothman and Jacob songs, um, that he can then go ahead and use either on a uh, on a future album, maybe on TV, whatever it might be. It's a, gr it's a great opportunity. Um, I I'm nervous, obviously, because I've never done quite anything like this before, But and I I've never met this guy, and unfortunately Johnny can't be there, so it's just going to be me in Switzerland with an engineer and this guy and possibly, you know, his dad, and helping make this um, work. So, you know, all I can say is I will report back on that one, but um, that could go any which way. So that's quite interesting. Um, but for now, let us clear our minds and um, spend a few moments in the, in the company of the video coming out tomorrow. Well, I should say, for the, those of you who've been, you know, knocking around the planet and the solar system for millions of years, and you suddenly find this little gem of a video, this was recorded um, on the 11th of August, um, 2022, and the song in question is coming out tomorrow on the 12th of August, 2022. And I'm going to leave you with... I don't love you anymore. See ya. I don't love you anymore. I thought I did. 
but now I'm not so sure. There, I've said it now, I haven't fallen through the floor. It's just I don't love you anymore. All those little things I used to think were charming. Sweet and innocent and funny and disarming. Behavior is increasingly alarming, and I don't love you anymore. Lightning strike me down if I tell a lie. I just came to say hello, then to say goodbye. But if you want, I can tell you all the reasons why. I can tell you I'm a 